Hello everyone and welcome aboard. Today I want to present a new project, part of a larger project from Zero to Hero. It's about how to design and build a scale model of an airliner. One of the most difficult part of the model the engine was chosen for modeling and the task was to realize it in 1 to 48 scale. The DK3 third series engine was a prototype. This engine was used on Tupolev 134A3 aircraft. In the process of this work, I want to understand how to work in a 3D CAD environment. I chose Fusion 360 for this and began to master it. The main difficulty was finding the necessary materials, drawings and photos. The drawings on the web are not very accurate, so I also had to use different diagrams and photos from different angles. Next I had to experiment with the thickness of various elements, so that they didn't lose their shape after printing and at the same time didn't look rough. Anti-aliasing also works well, the surface becomes smooth. By the way, 3D printer isn't easy, plug-and-play approach doesn't work here. For each element it was necessary to choose its own parameters for ideal printing. In a final printing, for some unknown reason, the printer made some layers visible on the parts of the engine cowl. The resin ran out and I put these parts to work. But it didn't cause any problems, the resin is easily processed by sandpaper and these defects were removed during priming. I used a thin saw to separate the details from the supports. It's very simple, because reason is ideal for treatment. The test assembly showed good coincidence of parts. Small details like turbine blades, thermocouples and nozzles are really amazing. I started painting the internal parts with alloy steel metallic. Then the nozzle was made more realistic with pigments.
parts are assembled on an epoxy resin in Sueno Acrylate. The inlet of the engine was painted as per the photo. Metallic closed to first stage of low pressure compressor and dirty green color at the air intake. The reverses and nozzle were painted. The metallic was coated with Tamiya X19 smoke. The burn part of the reverse was painted light beige. The first stage of the compressor, turbine and mixer were placed in a two-piece engine assail. This is the only seam that needs to be parted. I added a few holes to imitate Lux and Rivet's imitation on the panels and started sanding and priming the surface. After three layers of primer, the surface became absolutely smooth and I started crocheting. After pre-shading, the model was painted with two layers of white.
After covering with a glossy varnish, I was to decided to make the model more interesting using decals. I used decals from the old models. The number was planned to be 65-575, but the decals were poor quality and fell apart, so the number became 65-659, which does not correspond to reality, but it's ok for the test. Next, the process of tinting with oil paints began. First of all, I did the panel lines, and then signs of wear and fluid leaks were made. So, the engine model is ready. A lot of work has been done on the study of 3D design and the practice of 3D printing. If you have accurate drawings, you can create realistic models of the aircraft. We will work in this direction. Waiting for your reaction in the form of a like and a comment. Good luck with your modeling and thanks for watching.